Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solution. My name is Shubham Temre. In today's session, we will discuss about Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Inventory. And in inventory, we will discuss about item. So, first of all, what is item? So, item is an entity that represents products or services that a business manufacturer stocks or sells. So, for example, in manufacturing company, Items like are in form of car, pumps, electronics items. In case of restaurant, item is in form of burger, pizza, french fries or tomato soups. In case of supermarket, items are in form of grains, biscuits, packaged foods and fruits and vegetables. So item represents product and services that you sell or transact in the market. So in other words, we can say that the items are the resources that you maintain in your inventory or we can also say that the, the item are the components that make up your products or services next is the item attributes so item attributes are named entities which values describes various qualities of a product item in a, in oracle fusion application we have four types of attributes available in the application like main attributes, operational attributes, transactional attributes and additional information attributes. So first one is our main attributes. So main attributes are the common to all the items, item which we create or already created in our instance. And the main attributes are the part of the item data model. So main attributes will describe essential aspect of our item. So for example, uh, attributes like item number, description, status of our item, life cycle phases. In earlier session, we will discuss about what are life cycle phases we have in our Oracle Fusion application like design phase, production phase. Next is the user item type, approval status, item classes, unit of measures. So all of these are main attribute in our Oracle Fusion application. Second is operational attributes. So operational attributes define the behavior of the item with respect to various fusion applications, uh, such as Oracle fusion purchasing application or Oracle fusion inventory application. So behavior like in inventory application, the behavior is in form of shelf life days in purchasing application. Behavior require behavior is negotiation is required or not. In order management application, behavior is in form of item is shippable or not. Next is transactional attributes. In Oracle Vision application, transaction are required to capture value specific to an item in the transaction context. So for an example, an automobile dealer sells a car. He needs to capture the license plate number of the specific car sold as the part of transaction. However, when the same dealer sell, sells the floor mats, he does not record any such detail. So Fusion application having a functionality to capture transaction specific attributes. Last is the additional information attribute. So in additional information attribute, you can create additional information as well, which are based on descriptive flex field rather than extensible flex field. Descriptive flex field can have only one context available at a single time, while extensible flex field can have multiple contexts available. Okay, now let's go to the instance and create our item. Okay, so for creating an for creating an item. Just click on navigator, okay. then click on product management. In product management, we have product information management. In product information management, we can create or manage our item. So while, crea while we creating our user, we assign application implementation consultant role to our user. So with the help of that particular role here product, we can, we can create an item in product management. In product management, we have product information management. Just click on 
प्रोडक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन मैनेजमेंट ओके नाउ क्लिक ऑन टास्क लिस्ट इन टास्क लिस्ट आइटम मैनेजमेंट फॉर क्रिएटिंग एन आइटम क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट आइटम हियर वी आर मल्टीपल ऑप्शन लाइक क्रिएट आइटम मैनेज आइटम ब्राउज आइटम मैनेज कैटेलॉग्स नाउ फॉर क्रिएटिंग एन आइटम जस्ट क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट आइटम ओके सो बिफोर क्रिएटिंग एन आइटम यू हैव टू स्पेसिफाई यूर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो वी क्रिएट अवर आइटम इन आइटम मास्टर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग अवर आइटम इन आइटम मास्टर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी हैव टू असाइन अवर आइटम टू अवर चिल्ड इन्वेंट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो सिलेक्ट अवर टाटा आइटम मास्टर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन अर्लियर सेशन वी ऑलरेडी सीन हाउ टू क्रिएट अवर आइटम मास्टर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी आर क्रिएटिंग अ न्यू आइटम दैट्स वाई सिलेक्ट क्रिएट न्यू यर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नंबर ऑफ आइटम आइटम क्लासेस आर दी मैंडेटरी फील्ड्स ओवर हियर सो इन अर्लियर सेशन वी सीन हाउ टू क्रिएट आइटम क्लास and what are the functionalities we have in item class so select our item class tata steel bearing okay so after selecting that we have templates so templates are so these templates are seeded templates it is provided by oracle so in accordance to your use you can select you can select only one template or multiple template as well we are selecting as purchased item so click on purchased item template click on okay okay so here all details are shown over here for our item so item number is generated by system itself so it is because in our previous session we said we said uh, our item is at sequence generated so with the help of sequence generated item code is generated by system itself in at the description description we define at user define we have to define the our description over here let's say roller bearing this is our this is our item okay item class is tata steel bearing the status is approved this all are attributes now select item status item status we have active phase inactive in development phase so select as active now select life cycle phase of our item phase we have design production obsolete so select as active okay user item type this is our template reason okay so after filling all the mandatory fields over here we have to define our unit of measure for our item our item is roller bearing okay so click on primary unit of measure so roller bearing is in form of is in form of quantity roller bearing is unit of measure is in form of quantity that's why selecting each as quantity in accordance to your use you can specify all other attributes as well like tracking unit of measures pricing conversion defaulting control okay so after creating our item we have to assign our item to our child inventory organization that is so click on association tab in association our item is assigned to our item master organization so item master organization is our virtual organization okay now we have to assign our item to our child inventory organization so child inventory organization is our physical uh, physical inventory organization so click on select and add select our organization click on search icon this tata new york organize inventory is our 
फिजिकल इन्वेंट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस इज आर चिल्ड इन्वेंट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन तो सिलेक्ट टाटा न्यूयॉर्क इन्वेंट्री क्लिक ऑन अप्लाई क्लिक ऑन डन सो नाउ अवर आइटम इज असाइन टू अवर चिल्ड इन्वेंट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और वी कैन से दैट दी अवर फिजिकल इन्वेंट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज वेल सो we have many options like specification of our item click on specification specification we have multiple attributes many attributes in our in our next session we will see how specification structure attachments association categories quality so we will see in our we will see in our next sessions all of these just click on save and close okay you can check our item click on task select as manage item okay search our item name as roller bearing click on search okay so this is our roller bearing item status is approval status item status is active approved item class organization okay so all details are shown over here and the item code is generated by system itself okay so this is all about creating an item or managing the item so thanks for watching the video thank you so much